Well, hey guys, how are you? Um, told you that I would be back. I uh, just needed a couple days, you know, just to pray and stuff and just get with the Lord and worship. Um, I do have another message. Um, and I just, for a minute, I just want to, you know, say, Lord, I pray that I speak every word that is of you. I claim that um, you came to earth in the flesh and you died for us and you rose three days later. I also want to pray for the people who are not seeking Jesus and who don't truly know him um, and who are not asking the Holy Spirit for understanding and truth and knowledge. Um, and guys, I just pray that Jesus blesses you so you know what it's like for Jesus' love because he's awesome and you know what it's like to love one another just the way Jesus loves us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so <clears throat> he gave me Philippians 1, 5. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, Colossians 2, 7, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abundant in it with thanksgiving. Philippians 3, 14, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, 9, and be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Here's my message from him. My child, earthquakes are coming to Alaska, San Antonio, Texas, Rio de Janeiro, Kentucky. The fault line is ripping apart. The Madrid fault line is separating. It is, it is by my design. In Africa, locusts will swarm. Why do so many doubt my teachings? Churches are full of Pharisees contradicting my words. Am I love? Am I forgiveness? I am coming, children. I am coming so soon. Are you ready for my arrival? Are your oil lamps full of oil? My children are ready. I hear the prayers of the saints. 1 Corinthians 2, 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. John 3, 2. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Malachi 1, 5, 8. Your eyes shall see and you shall say, The Lord is magnified beyond the border of Israel. A son honors his father and a servant his master. Where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts to you who priests despise my name. Yet you say, In what way have we despised your name? You offer defiled food on my altar, but say, In what way have we defiled you? By saying, The table of the Lord is contemptible. And when you offer the blind as a sacrifice, is it not evil? And when you offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer then to your governor, would he be pleased with you? Would he accept you favorably? Says the Lord of hosts. Job 21 3. Bear with me that I may speak, and after I've spoken, keep mocking. Jeremiah 1 11. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. James 3 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. See how great a forest a little fire kindles. Here's another message. <clears throat> do you hear me calling you, child? Do you feel that urgency in your heart right now? That's me. Why do you question everything? Why do you mock and scoff me? You search the scriptures, you know my words, but you don't know me. Did I condemn the adulteress? I said sin no more. Oh, ye little faith, it's like tossing in the wind. Where are your desires? Where is your heart? Where is your love? My love is for you. Why are you against me? Where do you draw the water from? Seek me, praise me, worship me, pray to me. I am the bread of life. Come to me and I will give you rest. Oh, children, how I see and how I know everyone's heart. Some of your hearts are full of love and light, and some of your hearts are coal, pure black coal, and you are lukewarm and I will spit you out of my mouth. You don't put your faith and trust in me. You walk in ignorance and belligerence and you scoff at your neighbor but I have the sword coming for those. My judgment is here. Purim, Purim, O oh, ye little faith, don't mock my prophets, anointed ones, my dreamers, my visionaries, my people with words of knowledge, my flock spreading the gospel. Who gives them their strength and power to do so? I do. Who gives them their knowledge of my truths? 
I do? Do you lean on your own understanding or the understanding of Holy Spirit's truth and knowledge? Lord, Lord, we've prophesied in your name. We've cast devils in your name. I will say I never knew you. You search the scriptures. You know my words, but you do not know me. Did the Pharisees know me? I teach you these things so you may come to me with your heart and I will give you truths. Have you seen the moon? I told you to keep watching. Signs in the heavens all around you. Pandemic is here. I told you it would come. Martial law comes after. <clears throat> Fires in the cities. I told you they would come. My word is true. Everything I say shall come to pass. Calendar. Which calendar do you use? I told you not everything meets the eye. My earth is shaking and I am not done. California, wake up. New York, Kentucky, Nebraska, Colorado, Philippines, wake up. New Orleans, I have a lot coming for you. You will know my true followers. Um, you will know who my true followers are. You will know them by their fruits. It's time to wake up and heed my warnings. Confess your sins, believe in me, and I will forgive you. Matthew 25, 7. Then all these virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Genesis 27, 3. Now therefore, please take your weapons, your quiver, and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me. 1 Peter 3, 9. Not returning evil for evil or reveling for reveling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. Galatians 5, 8. The persuasion pers pers does not come from him who calls you. Galatians 5.11, And I, brethren, if I still peach, preach circumcision, why do I still suffer persecution? Then the offense of the cross has ceased. Revelation 6.8, So I looked and behold a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was death, and Hades followed with him, and power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword, with hunger, with death, and by the beast of the earth. Revelation 12, 4, his tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child as soon as it was born. Matthew 5, 9, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of God. Judges 2, 7, so the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord, which he had done for Israel. Luke 1, 8, so it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, order of his division. James 3, 4, <clears throat> look also at ship. Although they are so large and are driven by fierce winds, they are turned by a very small rudder wherever the pilot desires another message from him pandemic is here famine is coming my judgment is here keep watching i will be calling you up soon listen for the trumpets purim purim everything i say means something keep watching i love you i am your true messiah and i have spoken luke 2 11 for there is born to you this day in the city of david a savior who is christ the lord first thessalonians 3 6 but now that Timothy has come to us from you and brought us good news of your faith and love and that you always have good remembrance of us, greatly desiring to see us as we also to see you. John 8, 5. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned, but what do you say? Jeremiah 3, 5. Will he remain angry forever? Will he keep it to the end? Behold, you have spoken and done evil things as you were able. Jeremiah 3, 11. Then the Lord said to me, backsliding Israel has shown herself more righteous than treacherous Judah. And then he gave me Matthew 6, 8. Therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. And then he gave me Esther 3, 9 and Esther 2, 5 through 8. And Esther 5, 6. I don't have time to read those guys, so if you want to check that out. But if you don't know Jesus, ask him in your heart. Ask him to forgive you. Confess your sins and he will forgive you guys. He loves you. Um, okay, guys. Have a blessed day. Don't forget to pray to Jesus today because he loves every single one of us the same.